Welcome back. So, something's happened to the machine. It's uh, actually put itself to sleep. So, uh, one benefit of the EWM machines over some others um, is that it has a power saving mode. So, it's a user definable period of time where the machine will show two, two dashes on the screen, which means the machine's gone to sleep. Um, what it's doing now, it's in a low power mode. So, it's using hardly any electricity. Um, unlike its uh, its active state, which it's awaiting user input to commence the weld. So to get out of um, this mode, push any button, any button at all, any user input will wake it up. Um, if you need to put it back into sleep, hold down this button for two seconds and it will go back. So, once again, any button, she's back on. So, there's a lot of user definable features on this machine that live in a combination of places, either in the expert menu, which uh, has a button configuration you push to get into it, um, or in the basic menu. So the basic menu is accessible by pushing this. You can see a little button down there that says two seconds to menu. Push it in for two seconds and you get this here. Um, AAP is a, is a, is a feature um, and high frequency. So high frequency is currently on. You can turn high frequency off if you wish and put it into lift arc mode. Um, the other thing is AAP, which is, turn that back on. AAP is active arc. So active arc is an interesting feature that EWM have put into this machine and developed. Active arc is a feature which uh, maintains a constant weld setting um, independent of the distance in which the tungsten is to the job. So uh, when you're welding the tungsten electrode, uh, let's use a bit, of, a bit of steel as an example, uh, your tungsten can uh, change distance up and down from the job. When you have a long arc you've actually got less amperage in the job. Um, so the machine will change the voltage setting, the voltage trim to accommodate for any uh, distance differences and maintain an adaptive arc, or active arc is what they call it. So that's very useful for um, you know, situations where you might be moving away from the job. You know, uh, it happens to, happens to everyone and you know, in a most machines, when that happens, it will um, lead to an erratic arc, um, differences in heat input, and overall poor quality weld. So that's what active arc is. So the user features, a lot of them, particularly with regards to the jobs. So when we save something under a job, let's just go to job six. Give it a second to load in. So. Here in job six, it's uh, 2T mode, TIG welding in DC. If we uh, want to change our amperage, we might make this, just say a neat round number, 150 amps. It's asking us to set a base current. Now, this is a, this is a feature which um, uh, may or may not apply in most instances, but when you're DC TIG welding on 2T mode, it doesn't go into a base current. So, um, there we go. So, we might want to make that 75. So, half of, half of our peak current is a base current. So the machine will always weld in DC 2T mode at 150 amps until we tell it to go to that's 75. Now, this is uh, touching on what I was talking about, the cool features of the torch, is we've got two buttons. So this machine will start and stop the arc. So push it, start welding, let go, weld stops. Now, with a bit of uh, gymnastics of the old thumb here, you can hold down this button and rock back to that secondary button. And when hitting both of these buttons at the same time, when welding, you will bump down into your secondary amperage. So that can be a useful feature. 
Um, so where were we? We were just setting some random parameters. Let's have one and a half seconds downslope. Going to have 20 amps finishing current. Let's make that just make that nice around 50. Gas post flow time is eight seconds. That's okay. I'm cool with that. Tungsten diameter. So when you're outside of job zero, the machine gives you the option to tell you what tungsten you're running. This doesn't apply anymore because this is only for job zero. So here we're at a 2.4 tungsten. So we'll just dial that up. Obviously we're not pulsing, we're not in AC mode, so balance doesn't apply, likewise frequency doesn't. So active arc is currently off. Let's turn that on. I like active arc. Um, Pre-flow, make that a nice round second. Starting amperage would be 20. Um, if you're welding certain materials, you might want an amperage, a starting amperage that's higher than your main amperage, um, which is a hot start. Um, We'll just make that like a nice round 50 again. So at the moment, go back to the start. So we've got one second pre-flow. Starting amperage is 50 amps. Time up, we'll make that one and a half seconds. Peak amperage is 150. With a second button push, we'll go down to 75. Got one and a half seconds downslope when we release the button, which will bump us down to 50 amps ending current, current end with eight seconds of post flow, and then we're done. That's the world, end to end. So that's um, all good. So if we go back to our other job, where we're in job six, let's go back to job zero. We're no longer at our 150 amps, we're now at 100. We're not at... Oh, I've got this in AC mode, so it's remembered that from before. Um, but yeah, so if, if we uh, want to go back to our other job that we just set up, job six, and it will remember everything. As you can see, right here, we're at our 150 amps. One second pre-flow, 50 amps start, one and a half seconds time up, 150 amps peak current, 75 amps secondary current on the second button push if desired. One and a half seconds downslope, 50% end current, which is the current that it finishes up on, and eight seconds post flow. So that's it, that's, that's it done. Um, so this machine has the ability to do a factory reset. So if all your settings are wrong, or they're no longer of interest to you, or you want to wipe this machine back to a clean slate, like a, like a, like a factory reset, um, that can be done. You can just wipe everything on this machine, and you save features. You would turn the machine off on the back of the machine, turn her off, and then by pushing this and this button, so gas test and the job button, push them in at the same time, and then flick the machine on on the rear. That will wipe it. So, while it does look quite scary, this control interface, um, once you understand what you're doing, it's quite simple, and it's very user-friendly. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the end for this one. We'll uh, probably have a whole video dedicated to the uh, machine configuration menu, which is the next, the, the hardcore menu in the background. Um, let's uh, get stuck into that in a second video or another video. And um, till then, time to put the machine to sleep. Good night.